this is Kara, aka the Principal Painter, and today I am bringing you a whipping chat. It has been a long time coming. Uh, I have, uh, I had uh, some food poisoning I had to get over. I feel like a new person now, thank goodness. And um, so I'm bringing you this whipping chat. I'm going to tell you at the beginning of the whipping chat that. Um, if you stick with me, I will uh, let you know what to uh, comment on uh, for prizes. And let me share the prizes with you. These will be giveaways that will be announced on Monday on my live. I go live at 6 o'clock Central uh, every Monday night. And this Monday will be a very special one because I am doing a collab, uh, as all of you know, with Angie, the Craft NATO. Um, Angie's had some things come up also, life happens, family happens, uh, but we will be on my live on Monday at 6 o'clock central and uh, be giving away uh, prizes. I will be giving away two uh, weekly prizes on Monday to give people time to comment on this whip and chat. So you will have until my live on Monday at 6 o'clock central to be entered into my weekly prizes. There are two weekly prizes that I will be giving away on Monday based on comments on this whip and chat. So comment below uh, in order to get entered for uh, the prizes. What are the prizes? I will be giving away two. The first prize is a $35 gift card to Diamond Art Club, which will be great. Um, also, I will be giving away uh, this little gem of a little prize package, it has, I have candy and washi tape and stickers and little goodies in this little bag. I also, uh, as I said on my live last Monday, I believe in not only doing prizes for uh, diamond painting, but also to pamper yourself. I uh, am a monthly subscriber to a product called Crepe Erase. I am not an affiliate with them. I'm not getting any kickback from them. I just love this product. So I thought somebody could pamper themselves uh, with this. This is probably $65 uh, in product. The first product is Crepe Erase Advanced Restorative Facial Treatment. After I wash my face uh, in the morning and at night, I use this on my face as a face lotion. It is excellent. And I have the main product that Crepe Erase puts out. It's called Crepe Erase Advanced Body Repair Treatment. This is a wonderful, thick, buttery cream that you can put on your arms, your legs, what have you. Uh, as we get older, our skin gets a little crepey. Uh, and I use this all the time and it truly helps that. I love it, I believe in these products. Again, I don't sell them or anything. Uh, I just have a subscription by the month and I had uh, a couple of extra things, so I thought I would pass them along to a lucky winner. The next thing in the prize package is a coaster. Uh, it is a diamond painting coaster. It says, I love coffee. It comes complete with your diamond painting kit, your drills, and the coaster that you diamond paint. And I love mine, I've, I've completed one. So it is a full drill coaster, but I had not seen one of these before and uh, was wanting to give that away also. I ordered double. Has anyone ever done that? Ordered double things and not realized you did it? But you know what? This turned out well because I can give this as a giveaway. It will come in protective bubble wrap. Obviously, it is a ceramic coaster and uh, I will be sending that out to a lucky winner. So $35 gift card and this prize package. What are you working on today, Kara? What are you working on? My collab with Angie uh, is hashtag DBD, distracted by diamonds, um, diamond coloring. So hashtag DBD, diamond coloring. Uh, and that's what I'm working on here. And I wanted to share a little bit about the canvas today and, and tell you about my planning process. Robin uh, has a new product that is coming out in her shop called Diamond Coloring. I realize there are some other companies that do this too, but it is a brand new product to Distracted by Diamonds. She gives you a canvas, and I'll tell you about the canvas and uh, the process I've gone through thus far. Uh, she sends you a canvas. 
This canvas, uh, as I have discovered, is specifically designed for round drills. In the future, we have been testing out these canvases and giving her feedback. In the future, some changes are going to be made. Robin is going to be putting out canvases for round and canvases for square. I did start doing squares on this canvas and they were not fitting uh, the way they needed to, so I gave that feedback to Robin. So she will be doing now double canvases. Essentially, she'll be sending out canvases if people prefer rounds or people prefer squares. As you can see, it is a black and white canvas. Uh, it has art on it, that type of thing. She also sends you a planning page. I've made several copies of the planning page and I have colored it in with the colors that I feel like I want this diamond painting to have in it. That is the beauty of this. She does not send drills with these kits. You use your spare drills and I have all of my spare round drills laying out in front of me and I put them in color families on my table so that I can select colors to match what I have planned out that I'm going to do. That's the beauty of this. You know, uh, as you can see, I've done some things in rainbow, I've done some things in sparklers, DP with sparklers, love me some team all for sure. Um, I have done different colors. I colored this pencil, typical you know pencil colors. Uh, there's a little jar here. But again, the beauty of this is I'm doing this in green and orange. Somebody else could do it in blue and white. It's whatever colors that you select, which is, I love this. It's really been a great creative process for me and pushed the boundaries of uh, my diamond painting and creativity. So that is what uh, I am doing today on this. Also, if you are uh, joining Angie and I in the collab, make sure that you have posted pictures on Instagram with the hashtag DVD Diamond Coloring 22. So uh, you can be entered into the grand prize drawing. Robin will be giving away a Distracted by Diamonds canvas as her grand prize. She will be with us on the live on Monday. So that should be a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and start diamond painting. I, uh, again, you, have to, you, you do have to plan the colors in this diamond painting. And I had enough 310 rounds to do the background. Uh, you know, again, you have to plan to make sure you have enough drills that you can fill in a specific area. Uh, if you don't have enough, then that's not gonna work out really well. And so the biggest piece that I really had to plan was my background, because that's taking up most of uh, obviously what's on the uh, canvas. Again, I am doing this canvas in round. I believe that all the, of the canvases, she sent out uh, test canvases to uh, several people and they are working them up as we speak. Also, if you are going to post your progress pictures on Instagram with our hashtag, again, DBD Diamond Coloring 22, uh, you uh, do not have to be working on a Distracted by Diamonds canvas in particular. If you are participating in the Chuck Along, if you are participating in Mermaids and Magic, um, there's a Sparklers one, I believe, that had been going on. You can, you can participate in any of those collabs. The only thing that we ask is either you are working on a Distracted by Diamonds canvas, or if you're not, you have a container of patty wax or super sticky patty wax in the picture that you post. So just put some patty wax down, put some super sticky patty wax down, use our hashtag, and those pictures on Instagram are what is going to be used to select the grand prize winner, and that is Robin's uh, canvas that she is going to be giving away on my live Monday at six o'clock central. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week. I have been, um, I'm super excited. Marlon uh, has surprised me. You know, I always talk about uh, one of my favorite Broadway musicals, Come From Away. Uh, it is coming to Houston, and so he has gotten me orchestra level seats for Saturday. So we're gonna have a date day, go see that play. I am so excited about that. Um, I've also, guys, been 
binge watching some Netflix. I talked a little bit in my live about the uh, the show on Netflix called Good Girls. Oh my gosh, I just got finished with the series. It um, it's interesting. It's um, serious but it, it also interjects some humor in it to kind of break up the seriousness of it. Um, the premise of that show is it is about uh, three moms that um, have run into some money problems. They, uh, they're struggling. One of the characters has a daughter that has kidney issues and uh, it's costing a whole lot of money for medical visits, medicine, that sort of thing, and she doesn't know how she's gonna pay for that. Uh, one of the moms, um, her husband is, um, at the beginning anyway, a complete jerko and has been having an affair with his secretary at work uh, and also had some bad business deals and he didn't tell her, but they are about to lose their house. And then there's another character that is the sister of the main character, and uh, she's just <laughs> she's just a hot mess and is struggling with money issues just all the way around. So they decide to rob a grocery store, and so they take water guns and uh, spray paint them and make them look more like realistic guns and take them into this grocery store. And they rob it and uh, they get back to the main character's house and as they are looking through this money they realize that there is a whole lot more money uh, that they have stolen than they bargained for so um, they uh, are wondering why this is well come to find out uh, you know no good deed goes unpunished so to speak and uh, the um stick in here i just loaded my pen with some wax so let me get this off um so anyway uh essentially what has been happening is the particular grocery store that they robbed the grocery store has been laundering money for like the mob um and uh so there is a character that um is the bad guy so to speak and uh he begins, uh, you know, they've, by the time this mob guy gets to them, they have, they've spent a lot of money on medical bills and all kinds of things, getting, you know, um, the main character's house out of foreclosure. So they don't, they don't have the money anymore to pay him back. So uh, they have to work off their debt to the mob. And so they, they get themselves into all kinds of uh, crazy situations. Uh, the story is set near the Canadian border, so they have to go across the border to Canada to pick up an unknown uh, package, and they're thinking it's drugs, and uh, they get stopped by the border patrol. They're searching the car, and... Um, <laughs> There's no drugs in the car. The drug dogs, you know, don't stop them at all. Uh, that's not what they had to pick up. After they, thank, thankfully, uh, don't get arrested and get back across the Canadian border with this box, they uh, stop and they open the box. And the box is filled with what looks like wrapping paper. And... They're all looking at each other going, well, this is wrapping paper. Why is this such a big deal? And why did he need us to go get wrapping paper? Well, <laughs> the main character picks up one of these rolls of wrapping paper and she undoes the roll to look at the pattern of the wrapping paper. And she's like, it's just wrapping paper. Well, the back of the wrapping paper is facing the other two characters and their faces are just like, eyes huge their color is draining from their face and she's like I just don't get it it's just wrapping paper and uh, then the camera pans to the other side of this so-called wrapping paper well it is counterfeit money so they end up starting to counterfeit money for the mob I mean it, it just when you think their situation can't get any more uh, deep and convoluted than it already is, it, it does. Um, and so they're 
Now laundering money, um, the guy is taking his cut, he's giving them a cut. Uh, I mean, they just get into so many different things. And the funny part again is these are like PTA moms. They're, they're moms, they're still driving their kids to soccer and making sure they have their lunches packed and taking care of their family. Um, you know, the main character is trying to patch things up with her philandering husband. Um, and you know, they look like they're just normal women, which is another very attractive thing to this mob guy because nobody would suspect that these PTA moms that, you know, are soccer moms would have anything to do with anything so illegal or bad or, or what have you. And it's just, again, yes, it is a serious subject matter, but it is also funny. Um, the sister who's the hot mess provides the most comedic relief of all of them, um, Oh gosh, it's just, uh, it's a great series. And that one just ended. Um, and that was really good. And then I started watching another one that's like a thriller uh, with lots of plot twists and turns. Um, it's called Pieces of Her. And Pieces of Her is much more serious. There is no comedic relief. It is all very serious subject matter. Uh, it starts off, the daughter is a dispatcher with the uh, police department and her mother and she are out having lunch one day and uh, there is a, a shooter that comes into the restaurant and starts shooting it up and um, the shooter is about to shoot the daughter and the mother out of nowhere has some crazy ninja move she hits the gun as it's going off and unfortunately um he had a knife that he basically stuck through her hand which was horrifying but um she takes that knife and she she kills him so uh the daughter's like where did you learn this ninja like stuff that you're doing well it turns out the mother has a whole nother life uh, that the daughter knew nothing about. So now the daughter is on the run from these people that want to get to her and her mother. So uh, I just started watching that one. Um, again, much more serious, serious subject matter, but uh, it's really good if you, if you like thrillers. Um, but again, if you want more light, lighthearted, yes, it is, is, it is serious, but uh, more lighthearted subject matter, um, I would watch Good Girls. Oh gosh, I mean, again, it, it's 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 great, and I I binged watch it. I couldn't stop uh, watching it. I normally don't. I mean, the only other one that I've really binge watched binged watched is uh, Schitt's Creek, and um, but this the the Good Girls one uh, is really really good. Uh, I really enjoyed it. What else has been going on in the painter household? I've been adulting, getting laundry done, dishes done, that sort of thing. Um, again, we're planning this wonderful date to uh, the, the theater production on Saturday, so I'm super excited about that. Marlon has gotten into his Oculus. Yes, he's very busy with, with work and all that, but in his spare time, he has gotten an Oculus. Well, these Oculus, I mean, he put the Oculus on me. I didn't even realize what one really did. I had played around with one at one of the retreats. Uh, Ashley of Crafts with Crashly brought one and I played a game on it, but there is so much more these Oculuses can do. Like you can take virtual tours of museums and you feel like you're there. You can go to specific different rooms. You can go to concerts, you can, Oh my gosh, it's just crazy. Well, Marlon and his friends who also have Oculuses, and they were the reason why Marlon even got his Oculus, uh, they're playing golf. And so they play golf at all hours of the night. So I will be diamond painting, go out into the garage, and there's Marlon on the Oculus playing golf with his friends, um, Frank and uh, Chris. And uh, they've all gotten in trouble uh, by their wives, including me, for playing too long, and uh, I will need Marlon for something, and sorry, playing golf, and then the other wives will need their husbands, and they're getting yelled at, so uh, yeah, they, the boys get in, 
into time trouble with their, I mean, it's obviously a very innocent and uh, good way to spend time if you're gonna do anything, but they like playing golf. Well, it was funny. The guys actually got together, uh, the two friends that Marlon is playing on this Oculus with live in Austin. So uh, Marlon went up to Austin to play an actual game of uh, golf and <laughs> All of them found that because they're playing on the Oculus so much, their golf game was way off. Because I guess you have to, I, I'm not, a, I do not play golf, but um, I like to drive the golf cart though, that's kind of fun. Uh, but I guess on the Oculus, your golf swing is different, and they got so used to that that um, their actual golf game was way off, so they had to kind of relearn how to swing correctly in the actual game of golf. But I'm glad he has good friends and, you know, he has a good time. And again, it, it is innocent fun. Although I, I and the other wives do get irritated at times. It's like, you're on it again. So, um, yeah, so, but again, I diamond paint and I craft to relax and he has to have something to, uh, relax and spend his time with. And I'm Glad he can do that with with friends online and uh, those again those oculuses are super cool uh you know it's the new kind of upcoming virtual thing that uh, people are, uh, are doing now and so uh it's been fun to see there was one time he put the oculus on me and it looked like i was standing on the deck of a cruise ship and you turn around it's th it's 360 degrees so you know, you can physically turn around and see the back of the scene. I, I've just never seen anything like it. You just, <laughs> you have to be very careful when you're using this, this Oculus because you can run into stuff because you, you are virtually in a different place. And so you have to be careful. I don't know how Marlon has avoided not running into walls or crashing into something while he's playing golf, but, um, I guess he's gotten gotten used to it, but when you have that, those, you know, they're kind of, they're goggles that fit over your head. When you have that on, you are someplace else in your brain. That's all your brain can see, really. So, oh, I'm glad Marlon has not had any accidents or hurt himself. Um, <laughs> so, uh, it's a fun way for him to spend some time. So, I'm, I'm glad for him of that. Um, been very, very blessed by Diamond Art Club to be able to provide some sneak peeks. Um, just unboxed one of those and, uh, you know, um, it was a, a sunflower. Uh, it sold out very quickly. It was a limited edition, so most of those uh, Dean Russo paintings that Diamond Art Club has just put out um, have sold out. I think there's only one left, so... Um, and of course, talking to Robin uh, about this new diamond coloring. And uh, Robin is also, you know, Brandy's been planning her daughter's wedding. And uh, I'll let her tell you more about the planning. They were out yesterday cake tasting and looking at the venue. And Jasmine is so excited about it. And it's so fun to see her. And she just giggles and smiles and just, you know, is, is very, very excited about this whole wedding. and. So I was talking to Robin, who's also helping to plan her daughter's wedding. Um, so we were looking at wedding dresses the other day. We were talking about styles. And um, Robin has three absolutely beautiful, drop-dead, gorgeous daughters. Uh, she sent me a picture of uh, her daughter that's getting married. And I told her she looks like Elle McPherson. Remember Elle McPherson, the supermodel? That's what her daughter that's getting married looks like. And again, her other two daughters are equally as, as gorgeous. Um, I don't see how she goes anywhere without, you know, men just, you know, want, wanting attention of, of her daughters. And that, that has happened before, but um, I'm very excited for her as far as planning her daughter's wedding and being able to talk with her about that and, and share in that excitement. So that's really fun. Um, my kids are doing great. Uh, Doug is doing his fire department thing. Um, Blake is still, is still taking online classes and trying to figure out what he wants to do with life. And that is okay. Um, I've 
again, had to calm down a little bit on that as far as trying to probably be overbearing. Okay, be overbearing. Yes, I'm overbearing um, with, with that. I, I want him to be successful. He is, um, you know, I have no delusions about my children's intelligence levels. Uh, as you know, and I've said before, Doug uh, is dyslexic and struggled in school, um, but also was an extremely hard worker and school was a good good place for him because of the job that I had and I was able to provide him with some opportunities because of the fact that I was a principal and make sure he had teachers that could meet his learning needs and that kind of thing. Um, Blake, on the other hand, is super smart, uh, but he's too, I mean, again, he's too smart to study and too cute to care and, you know, just barely scraped by, you know, he'd be failing a class and I'd be losing my mind and I'd be on the phone with him um, <clears throat> and be going, Blake, why do you have a 65, you know, in this class? And he'd be, well, because, you know, didn't turn in homework, didn't do this. And so I would be losing my mind and he'd go, hey, mom, there's, there's a test coming up. I'll, I'll study for it. I'll, I'll get myself out of it. So he would study hard for the test, make you know, a high A on it and bring his grade up to a C and go, C, mom, C. And I'm, I'm like, but you could have made an A in the class. Um, so yeah, I just needed Doug's heart in Blake's body and, you know, so, and Blake's brain in Doug's body. But, you know, it is what it is. And I love them both to death. Uh, they are both doing great things in the world. Uh, Blake is also working. So, you know, they're not they're not running the streets, they're not doing dope, they're not, you know, doing anything crazy. So um, I'm very, very proud of both of them and their accomplishments. And I know at some point Blake's gonna go, ah, this is what it's all about. I know now what I wanna do. So hopefully that happens soon. Um, again, I'm very much trying to be a guide on the side. Uh, and not be an overbearing, you need to be doing this and constantly in his business all the time, which is, which is hard for me, but that is him. And I know with him, uh, the harder you push, uh, that is just not, not going to work for him. So um, I've had a really good time uh, doing this canvas. I have to tell you at the beginning when I was trying to place down uh, the square drills and it wasn't working and I was having to, and I did, I took tweezers and ripped them all up and started with the uh, rounds. But again, I have to keep reminding myself, this is a prototype. It is uh, a test that uh, Robin wanted all of us to, that she selected, she wanted all of us to try it. And sometimes when you try it, there are bumps in the road and um, that's the reason why she wanted us to, to do that. So. Uh, we have and we've discovered some things along the way and and uh, Robin has been extremely receptive to the feedback and uh, she's gotten with her factory and is already working on uh, the squares and the rounds for these uh, diamond coloring paintings but I have loved it just because I picked the colors I you know there's a lipstick over here I decided I wanted to make that pink um, there's a little zipper pouch down here. There's a little rainbow uh, that I, I, that I uh, painted with diamonds down here. So you can essentially pick uh, whatever you want as far as your colors. Uh, it does take planning. It, it has taken, you know, some trial and error. And uh, that's why, you know, we got to test these out, which is a, which is a good thing. And it provides feedback and Robin wants to provide the best for her customers. And by us testing this, we have uh, figured out some, um, some things that uh, can change before she starts selling to the general public and those changes are gonna be made. So good for everybody that wants to uh, try this in the crafting world. And again, I know there are other companies that have similar things, but um, this is new to Distracted by Diamonds. So, uh, I very much appreciate the fact that she wanted to uh, test this out before sending it out. And so 
that is what I have been working on. I am um, Hannathon is coming up uh, next month, and I think I have selected a painting to do for that. Um, I'm obviously not going to get this one done by the end of the month, and I figured I probably wouldn't because of the fact that it was a test and things are going to work and things aren't going to work, uh, but uh, I will continue to work on this until it is uh, completed. Robin wants to see, obviously, these completed, so uh, I've made that commitment and will definitely finish this. It's once, you know, once I got the rounds to work, it's been really a lot of fun. Um, the squares were just crooked and, and everywhere and um, it, it just, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't working. But again, that's okay. This is a test. Other than that, you know, uh, Bella the Bulldog is doing fine. She is as precious as ever. We celebrated National Puppy Day yesterday. That was fun. Uh, spoiled her a little bit. And um, that is what we've been doing. Just uh, being homebodies. And I've been diamond painting. Marlon's been on his Oculus. And I've been uh, diamond painting and binge watching uh, Netflix. I did, I will tell you this before I sign off, I did get something uh, really cool in the mail yesterday from Craftably. It is a new item that they do have on their website. I will be unboxing that uh, today and I'm excited to do that. I spoke with Michael last night of Craftably and was just kind of asking about it and they're excited to bring again some new You've seen me unbox some of them, some new items to their shop. So uh, I will be unboxing this and it'll be something new uh, to me as a craft. Um, it's needlework. I am a cross stitcher, but uh, this type of needlework I uh, have not done. But, um, you know, I always like to challenge myself and I always like to try new things to keep my brain occupied. I keep getting one drill stuck. Uh, but that'll be that'll be super fun and um, we'll be unboxing my choice for diamond painting for the Hannathon uh, and for the Hannathon I don't know a lot of details about it uh, there is a Hannathon Facebook group that you can get on and uh, the Hannathon will be put on by Beth uh, shine like a diamond and Brandy mystery of diamonds and it should be really fun. There's a registration form for that, and uh, you can sign up to, to do the Hanathon, and I, I'm going to do that, but I'm also gonna continue to work on uh, this diamond painting. All right. Well, I think, guys, that is what I have for you uh, today, so I don't ramble on and on. I, again, will continue to work on this. The next item I'm gonna be working on is this little teacup and you can see from what I've colored I think what I'm going to do on you know this looks to be a, a piece of paper I'm not sure some of these things I'm not sure what exactly they are but this cute little teacup or coffee cup oh lord phew okay you know when you stick paper to your canvas get a baby wipe wipe off the paper it'll come up thank goodness no, no uh, paper uh, averted disaster guys anyhow this coffee cup I um, again it's blue and then I've got a little rainbow uh, smoke coming out of it so that'll be the next thing that I I'm working on but anyhow if you inadvertently get a piece of paper on your canvas all you do is you go get a baby wipe you can even use a Clorox wipe I've done it before and I know people don't believe me but you really can and you soak that but you get the moisture out of the baby wipe, soak it down, get the paper rubbed off. Once you do that, there's not gonna be any stickiness left on your canvas. However, you let it air dry for about 15 to 20 minutes, the stickiness comes back. It is miraculous. And uh, I've done it before, well, obviously just about did it again. Uh, and it does work every time, every single time. So uh, be careful that you're Inventory sheets and your planning pages are far, far away, and uh, you didn't do what I just did and stick it to your canvas. Whew, all right, that uh, had my heart racing just a little bit, but I'm gonna continue working on this. I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. I will be doing an unboxing later on this evening, and uh, have a great weekend, everybody, and I will leave you with this. 
In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off. And hello, it is me again at the end of the video. I realized after watching the video before uploading it that I didn't tell you what to comment on for the weekly prizes for hashtag DBD Diamond Coloring 22. Just make a general comment. Uh, there's no specific question, comment, uh, would you like to work on something like this? Have you seen any of the uh, Netflix series I mentioned? Uh, just make a general comment. Uh, I'm gonna make this really, really easy. And uh, again, I'm very, very sorry that I did not say this uh, originally. So just make a comment and uh, you will be entered into my weekly prizes. As you can see, I'm already working on the piece of paper that I'm uh, decided was going to be purple. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for staying with me. Bye.